okay welcome once again to this uh, youtube video if you're new just subscribe and hit the sub uh, the notification bell to get all our latest uploaded video now in this tutorial i'm going to show you on how you can link your ec2 instance with github so that when you want to update any file of your website it's easy to update it because you have linked it direct to uh, github so it's so easy i'm going to explain in this tutorial i'm going to show you the best method of uh, of integrating uh, of or not integrating of linking the github and ec2 the most uh, easiest way that we, uh, i know and i know it will work for you so just stay tuned and learn with me so what here i've already logged into my ec2 instance using ssh if you didn't see on how you i can do this with the windows and uh in using cmd so just go into the video that i've provided the link in the description so that you can understand on how you can reach to this level where you're accessing the your ec2 using uh using cmd so first i'm going to click here because i'm already connected i will write clear because clear is a command in linux where you can just clear the, uh, the terminal so the first what i'm going to do i'm going to create an uh something which is called uh ssh keygen so let me write like here cd uh sorry cd dot ssh so here i'm in the ssh and what i'm going to write i'm going i'm going to write ssh hyphen ssh hyphen so ssh then hyphen then i'm going to write key uh, key gen then enter so you can see it's generating so i'm going to leave everything just click enter no yeah yes enter mm, let me click enter then if you want to set password you can set it but for me i'm not setting any password so i'm going to click enter then I'll click enter again so that the password should be empty you can see here i have this this and also i can just write ls so that we can see the folder that is uh, that has been created there so you can see click you can see authorized key authorized key is id rsa and id rsa dot pub so the most important one is R, uh, id underscore do uh, under uh, id underscore rsa dot pub so i'm going to write cut cut then i'm going to write cut id uh, underscore rsa dot pub this means that i want to view the content that is in the id id underscore rsa dot pub uh, when i write cut i will view everything the sources that is there so i'm going to write enter enter so you can see here i have this ssh so this is important and in in, uh, in github so first what we need to do you can see here when i when i uh, here you can see okay let me now first try to to link uh, to clone a github repository on the uh, on the main page so let me first do this cd uh not cd space dot dot uh, then enter so here you can see when i list ls i list every directory that is there i cannot find it so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to to take uh here the I'm going to do this i'm going to take the i'm going to link go into my github uh github account github uh, and try to clone one one of my repository so here then let me click here then my profile okay then click repository uh here repository so let me do this uh, i want to clone what what let me choose one 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 of my one of my tutorial let me use my mpesa tutorial because that's what's famous my mpesa de raja let me use for php my mpesa de raja okay i'm going to do this i'm going to uh 
uh, copy i'm going to do take this ssh here i'm going to clone with this ssh because http you cannot clone it using that because uh, in august 2019 they changed on how you can authenticate with it so the best one is use ssh now i'm going to do this i'm going to git clone uh, clone uh, git clone that the link and paste the link then enter so cloning you can see are you sure you want to continue cloning so when you click yes you see i have been denied because there is no public key which is here so after, uh, th that's why we want to link so that we can en be enabled to clone this repository first i will go into my profile my <coughs> my profiles sorry not my profile uh, you just click setting uh, your a profile then you can click settings after settings uh, you can uh, come here at ssh and G P A gpg keys then click here there then you will find here new ssh key and new ssh and new new key so this is what we are going to do we are going to take uh we're going to the terminal then let me clear first so that I can repeat the process of getting the contents uh, here clear. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do cd uh, then dot ssh enter. And then I'm going to do uh, cut. Uh, sorry, uh, ls so that you can see the nini the what is there. Then I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to do this cd not cd i'm going to write cut dot that then enter so this is the contents that is there just copy everything as it is without any spaces and you know, then copy after that just take you know, click new ssh key then uh, you can write any title for me i'm writing demo keys keys i'm writing anything e or ec2 ec2 then i'm going to paste here the keys then uh, make sure there's no spaces and just add it leave it as authentication key then just add new ssh then i'm going to put password to authenticate to prove that i'm i'm the user that I'm, i've added the ssh key that's a security then here you will find it here which it has not been used so what i'm going to do because we, this means that you have we have already uh we've already linked the github account so so this is what i'm going to do uh so i'm going to test on if we have connected direct to uh github so that i can see if i'm okay uh if it is connected successful so this is how you test it if you have connected to the ssh let me first cd first sorry cd enter so i'm going to write ssh then i'm going to write i'm going to write uh i'm going to write i'm going to write git uh, space let me leave a space git um git then you write here at github.com then just enter and you see you can see here allocated request you can just leave this one as failed but you can see alvin kivu underscore which is my username you have successfully authenticated but github does not provide uh, access with that but let's do this uh we are going to uh just come to that it means that we have created it so uh, we have connected it successful so just click here uh, to my repository then i'm going to clone reclone again the mpesa mpesa the mpesa data jpi uh, repository uh, then i'm going to click so remember you are using ssh then i'm going to do this i'm going to write git uh, git clone 
clone enter uh, so git clone then click enter sorry and paste it i'm confused in windows and ubuntu so enter cloning you see it has cloned successful and when you write ls you can see we have this uh this folder where you can just access it there uh, cd cd uh, then i've accessed the folder it means that we i have cloned it so ls and i can perform any git git uh i can perform any git git command here like git uh, status where i can check if everything is updated you can see everything is updated but you can just check like this git uh git yes like there git status i can git pull git pull you can see everything is up to date so that's how you access your you can link your github uh github with your inst uh, your ec2 instance and it's that simple so i'll make other videos about aws uh and aws and everything you need to know about aws so if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get all these amazing video that i've planned to show you so see you in my next video